shut your hole, you, or I'll come out of there and shut it for you. Should have got yourself a car, Frankie. Shut up, you bastard. You know I wanted that motor. Ah, oh, give yourself peace. You were outbid and outclassed. <laughs> That's a heap of shit anyway. Oh, oh. Right, hey. Does this sound like a piece of shit to you? <laughs> you tit! <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some steel game. Beautiful, amazing steel game. Just before I start, I want to say thank you so much. We've got 15,000 subscribers now. 15,000! I went live on Friday, is it Friday? On Thursday and Wednesday. You know, chatting to you guys was absolutely amazing. I might do that again this Thursday. When I go live, I do like a live reaction. And it's amazing seeing you guys in the comments. I was chatting to people from America, from Scotland, from England, from Canada. It was just amazing seeing you guys. So yeah, try join the next live. I'm going to post in the community post and all that. But yeah, let's see what series game has to say this time. Let's go. Is that you? Hi, hi, that's me. Uh... Is that you? Hey, give me one more minute, Jack. Right, my darling, I'll get you on a wee call this week. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, I meant to say to you, me and Jack are way up to see about water this afternoon. <laughs> I know! Can you believe that, eh? After all these years, I might be getting back on the road. Anyway. Sorry, what a way to start the episode. What a way to start the episode. Again, I feel like it's the fact that we laugh so much, we just forget, you know, that they've lost their wives. And having each other just, you know, kind of help them cope together. I totally, I always forget that they've lost their wives. It's ridiculous. Just having that one person that's there for you, that just not make you think about the people you've lost. Oh, it's beautiful, amazing. Ah, oh, what a way to start. Wow. We hope to see you again the first of next month. Hey, I love you too. You're a creepy bastard. <laughs> How? <laughs> Talking to Betty like that as if she was still alive. Oh, well, I might be getting back on the road again. What's wrong with that? Mm. You're the creepy bastard. Well, how would that be? Standing there in silence, all remorseful. Oh, look at me morning. Well, it's better than talking to the bloody deed, isn't it? It's not just that. You leave a wee gap as if she's got any answer. As if she's still here. She is still here, in my heart. Birthday care, pish. <laughs> Ignore him, my sweet. We'll soon be together. Jesus. What's that? Well put, yes, he is an arsehole. <laughs> Shut up. What's the matter with you? This is how it's going to be, Jack. Me and my beloved lying out together. Ah, two old skeletons hodding their bony horns together with just your wee wedding <laughs> rings hanging off your scraggy knuckles. Comes to us all. In fact, have a wee lie down, enjoy the view. What view? You'll be dead. You'll see hee haw. Your eye sockets will be full of beasties. <laughs> Ah, I'm only winding you up. Ah, well. Come on. Cheery bye, bye, my darling. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come here, an arsehole, Betty. <laughs> right, what flair is it? Uh, nine. Same as Monkey Frankie. Mm. <laughs> so. What are you going to offer for the car? Mm, well, she says 250, so. 100. Eh, hey, how can we go, you tight wad? Oh, 100's a lot of money to a widow. Aye, in 1940, maybe. <laughs> the car's worth more than that. That's an insult. Oh, insult nothing. A man's been dead a fortnight, he'll be up our arse. Do you think so? <laughs> oh, 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 my man's away. A hunter? Aye, I'll take it, cos I'm a widow and I've gone stupid all of a sudden. Thank you. <laughs> She's no one. Do you know when she'll be back? No. Hmm. But 
It was just about a notice in the vid saying That's she's nice selling her man's car, you see, and I was thinking about buying it. Oh, were you? That's a good motor, that. I might buy that after myself. Aye. Now that's a rare idea, Frankie. You buy it and then you could you could take it apart and leave all the wee bits scattered over your landing. <laughs> you manky bastard. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, you mad rocket? Spinning me? Shut up! <laughs> Who are you? Did I get grogger on you? Aye, you did. Sorry. <laughs> this is murder. 20 minutes. Here, do you want to get a taxi? No. Too dear. It's freezing, eh, ma? Why, Martin? I can't wait to get up the road, eh, ma? Neither can I, Martin. Aye, well, some soup we get in, eh? And then we'll have a cup of tea with some snowballs, eh, ma? I didn't get any snowballs, Martin. Any snowballs? No. You stupid... Oh, cow! Relax, Martin, you've got an empire biscuit. I'm no you. one an empire biscuit! I want a snowball! Oh, these... Taxi! <laughs> That's so true. Oh my god. Like, don't get me wrong. For some reason, I like public transport. I actually do really, really like public transport. But sometimes, oh my god, you meet some messed up people on public transport. <sighs> Especially if you go upstairs. Let's say, let's say you're taking a bus and you go upstairs. You could see someone cooking. I've never seen someone cooking, but I won't be surprised if I see a geezer there cooking. There was a day I went upstairs and there's these two homeless geezers. It was early on Sunday morning I was going Sunday football. Probably like around like after nine, ten o'clock in the morning. There was these two geezers. They were so quiet. And I, was, and I had my earphones on, but I was like, something weird is going on. I looked back. They were doing some, whatever you might call it. They were burning some stuff off some paper and sniffing some stuff. I'm like, what are you doing? I couldn't wait to get up because it, it was such a rotten smell. It wasn't, it was like shite mixed with weed or something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we just, it's, I'm like, what are you doing to yourself this early? That put me off for a long time. But sometimes I actually do like being on public transport because I'm new in, I'm still new in Birmingham. I've been living there for six years. But I love exploring, you know, going to different places. And I feel like public transport in the UK is actually very, very good. In Birmingham, it is very good anyway. Yeah. But when I'm not driving, I love it. I love it, literally. But yeah, let me know what your public transport in your city is like. In Whether you live in Glasgow, or you live in London, in Shrewsbury, Manchester, anywhere around the world, let us know what your public transport is like. Let's go. Maybe if you have a job in Martin, you're mocking right your ass for you, Martin. <laughs> Our man died and left of a car, but it's no good to her. She can't drive. And you want to see it too. Yeah. Can't let a bargain like that pass. Tam, what are you staring at that fruit machine for? 70 pence in the pound that wee sweetheart's got to pay out. And what? Well, Bluto here's putting 30 pound and it's no fart at a nugget. <laughs> so you're hanging about here like a vulture, waiting on that thing paying out? Yes. Some man, isn't he? Unbelievable. Yeah, Winston. Oh. Cheers, Bobby boy. But am I not getting a pint? No! Get your own pint. When did you last buy me a pint? Never mind that. When did you last buy a pint, thanks? Ah, I've bought a pint. Before. Well, let's see you repeat the feat, eh? Huh? Paint a lager, Bobby. Mm. Oh, that's my cue. Get once in a pint with Jerick. <laughs> Bobby. <sighs> Again. See, remember last time I talked, we spoke about Bobby, uh, as in like they take the piss out of him. Victor and Jack take the piss out of him, but he's still part of the community. The same thing with Tam. Tam is, is that guy that you know he's stingy, but he's still your mate. He's your stingy mate. <laughs> And we all have friends like that. You do, everyone has friends like that. But at the end of the day, he's still your friend. Because you know deep, deep, deep down, when shit is the fan, it's going to be there for you. You might be stingy as fuck, but when it's going to be, it's going to be there for you when you do need him. I hope so, anyway. Well, oh, aye, aye, 
was meant to die. There you go, that's an hour. It's only done 30,000 miles. Ooh, I'm getting in here, Jack. Oh, 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 I'm coming. Uh, hello there, sweetheart. Can we, can we just say, very sorry to hear oh. about Danny. Aye, oh, really. He had a good innings. Aye, I did that. I suppose that's it. Right. right, sweetheart. I want to buy Danny's motor. What do you need for it? I'll give you a hundred in. I was thinking more in the region of 250. Point taken. 105? 150? 150? Well, I suppose that's better than 105. What a bid, Jack. What a bid. Can you object, Victor? This is what's known in the auctioning world as middling. 175. Oh, 175. Steady. Is that the best offer? 175. Oh, well, then. 200. 225. Jesus, Jack, I'm not going to get this. Hey, relax, relax. I am now going to nobble the opposition. And listen, sweetheart, I am. Um, you don't want to sell the car to him. I know. Well, it's fairly obvious, you know, Danny's looked after that car, you know. Aye. Aye, well, if you get to him, he'll not look after it any longer. Oh, no. He'll have the engine at it. He'll have it stripped down to wee bits and he'll be hawking off the spare parts. Now, Victor, on the other hand, he will look after it, you know. And after all, that's what Danny would have wanted, Danny. Listen, son, it does not matter what Danny would want. Danny's dead, and I want new carpets. <laughs> any advance in 225? 230. 250. Now we're cooking with gas. 275. 280. 285. 290. What are you doing? I want that car, Jack. And I'm not letting they assholes get it. You're getting too heavy. Calm down. I know what I'm doing. Look, 300's my top end, right? 300. If it gets up that high, I'll bail it. But it'll not come to that. 290 then? 300, 305, 310, 315, 320, 325, 330, 340, 350, 360, 375, 395. Bastard! <laughs> I'm done. 395 and a lighter, it's a Calibra refillable. 400! <laughs> done! That was smashing! Get it round you! <laughs> Bastard. I wanted that. Can I get my money? Of course you can, my love. Jack. Did you see the bidding frenzy there? Aye, I did, you silly bastard. Aye, well, in the heat of the moment, the romance of the auction, the fever of the bidding. Oh, uh, you've not got 400 quid, have you? No. Well, how much have you got? 300. Tom, Frankie. Da, 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 come on, Jack. Victor, I am not lending you 100 pound. I've got two words for you, boy. Bus stop. Huh? Stunning. In the pish and rain. We all the trailer trash rubbish. Wait and wait. Oh. So this gives me flashback of a car that I got during during lockdown. Oh my god. I got the car for about like a thousand pounds. It was a Corsa. Well, this was like during lockdown where I wasn't I moved out of town, so I knew I was gonna need a car, to, you know, to be going about to go, go mainly for football training. So stupid. I could have got the bus, but mainly for football training. I got this car. Just cheap run around, it was about one thousand pounds. It was a Corsa, beautiful Corsa when I got it. Would you believe after like two months, the car started having problem? I end up spending about two grand on this car. I bought the car for a thousand. I spent about two grand on it. This car gave me so much. Like I learned so much about cars within a space of six seven months. Like I'm, I, I got to the stage where I'll be on eBay looking for parts. Like every week there was a new part that was gone. So the the main message from that story is do not buy cheap cars if it's too cheap there's a reason why like they like you go to the dealership not dealership you go to the geezer the mechanic that's selling it they're gonna do it so nice you know polish it but the inside that the engines and all that there's something wrong when i finally saw it i saw the car for about was it about 500 to we buy in a car.com thank god i was so happy when I, I like just please take it take it i don't want it anymore take it but yeah that's my story let me know your crazy car story i'm sure everyone has a crazy car story let me know i've told you mine so you have to tell me yours now let's go oh but we are motor jack eh we are motor in you get nice and warm mm. oh comfy sheet <laughs> try on radio too sing something simple <laughs> come on get up, get up.
Is that you? Oh, is that you? Mm -hmm. That's me. Oh! Oh! Ho. My carriage awaits. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Dear, having trouble with your transport, Frankie. <laughs> shut your hole, you, or I'll come here and shut it for you. Should have got yourself a car, Frankie. Shut up, you bastard. You know I wanted that motor. Ah, oh, give yourself peace. You've been outbid and outclassed. <laughs> That's heap of shit, anyway. Oh, oh. Right, hey. Does this sound like a piece of shit to you? <laughs> you tit! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Oh, look, uh, there's a zebra crossing there. So there is, aye. There's no smoke in a petrol station. You're trying to blow us up? What's the matter with you? <laughs> I think it's the fact that they haven't driven in a long time. They forgot how expensive petrol or diesel is. It's oh, petrol, diesel, insurance. I was chatting to a young geezer actually. He's only about 18. He just passed his test. And it goes to me, he was quoted £8,000. For insurance for a year, eight thousand pounds. Eight thousand. That's more than. The, and the car he got, I think he got a car for about six hundred pounds. <laughs> he got a Micra. He got a Nissan Micra, like a oh six oh seven Nissan Micra, and it's meant to be getting paid eight. Obviously, he's not getting a, the insurance, but that just shows how crazy insurance is today. Eight thousand. Wow. <laughs> Here, Jack, is that not a heron? Eh, uh, you don't see them all often, do you? I used to fish out here when I was a boy. Lovely, isn't it? I've had a smashing time, Victor. I can't remember the last time I did it like that. Aye, it was a rare time, aye. Oh, and I know just how to round off a perfect day like today. Ho, ho, ho! That's Mikey, Frankie and a big, dirty bastard puddle. <laughs> 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 Barbers? Not at all. Eh? But you use wee Freddy the same as me. He's a smashing fella, and you never tip him. He's been cutting your hair for 30 odd years. Yeah, just same old pish for 30 years. That you get a day off? Are you planning any holidays? He should be tipping me, half's whole it is. <laughs> right then. What about taxi drivers? Ah. Not a curdy. A shower of robbing bastards, your taxi drivers. Taking you all roads, never a shortcut. Distracting you with garbage chat. Anyway, you wouldn't catch me in a taxi unless it was some other daft bastard paying for it. <laughs> Isa. Aye. Do you tip taxi drivers? Oh, aye. There you are. 
If I'm going to the bingo and the weather's bad, nah, I'll maybe jump a taxi or a phone van. It's always £2.80, there's only the one road to the bingo. I generally give him the three pound. You see. But if the traffic's slow, well, I can take the fare up to say three pound ten. I've seen me give him four pound and just taking fifty pence back. Right. But then again. <laughs> Isaac, if you don't shut up, I'll phone you a taxi. The new. Right. <laughs> right. Come on. Eric, I'll see you later, all right. Nice wee car, that. Ah, do you like it? Aye, aye, aye. We got it a couple of days ago. What the hell are you playing at, eh? Quarter of an hour I've been waiting on you. Well, I was talking to Eric. Jeez, oh, was it quarter an hour? Here, I'm joking. Take me to Klansman. Right. What did you say there? Uh, take us to the Klansman. No. You said take me to the Klansman. <laughs> did you? Aye, you did. Well, I meant, hey, take us to the Klansman. No. First, I took you to the library so you could take your books back. Then, I took you to Naveed so you could get your tobacco. And then, I took you to the dry cleaners so you could get your trousers. Now it's take me to the Klansman. You think I'm here to drive you about? Now, wait a minute, Victor. No, you wait a minute, Jack. What was all that push with Eric, eh? We got it a couple of days ago. Well, we did. This is my motor, Jack. Our car? I put £100 towards it. You lent me £100. I'm going to pay you that back. I'm not wanting it back, Victor. I own 25% of this car. I am a major shareholder in this car, so therefore I have to be lifted and laid. A major sh... <laughs> I'll lay you out. Get in. What the hell are you doing? I'm sitting in the back of my leg room. Now, are we going to the Klansman? No! Because I can't drink. I'll be buggered if I'm sitting there nursing a tomato juice while you get pissed. You're not going? No! Well, fine. Take me to the Klansman. Are you listening? Klansman driver! <laughs> <laughs> this week we'll be test driving the Ferrari Testarossa. Not to 60 or a stalking through oh, seconds. It's a piece of machine, and you don't want to miss out on this review. Hey, hey. Yeah. I know you're in there. I saw the car down the stair. I've just walked about three miles in the pissing rain. Jesus. Because of you. Aye, and you soaked me yesterday. Anyway, I've sorted you. You're sorted. <laughs> oh. Victor, Victor, I'm steaming. Jack, good for you. What is it? I'm in the pub. Ah. And I'm, I'm steaming. Yes, you've told me that. What is it? Well, I wanted to say I was sorry, you know what I mean? I, I apologise for being a prick today. Forget it. Is that it? Uh, no. Victor, you're my best pal. That's lovely. Good night now. Victor? Yes, Jack? I'm, uh, I'm going to come up the road now and I'm needing a lift. I've not got the money for a taxi. Uh-huh. And? Uh, and you have to come and get me. <laughs> Lost. And, and, and mugged and all. Tough. Oh, come on, in fact, and I'm steaming. You're not my chauffeur, you're my, you're my pal. Come on, who gives a lift? It's, 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 it's raining. And I'm steaming. Right. <laughs> Oh, my 
pals, come and get me. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Get in the cab, Jack. I'm not in any mood to piss about. Right, we've to get in! <laughs> Bloody minute. Well, we're all going to the same place, driver. Hey, Victor. Is that a piece of are you? Oh, here. Uh, this is a lovely cab, Jack. It's very good to keep the keys all up. That's all right, don't mention it. Yeah. It's a good motor, this solid and good car. Here, I should have a seatbelt on. Oh, here, you, you dirty bucket to your bloody head. You're not taking a liberty stinking out his car like that. For God's sake, angry. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, Teeth was out there if I had a deer or something. And Craig Lang, you clown! Oh, I don't have something as I don't. You devil's thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. When I said to you guys, I asked you guys, what is that song? And you guys told me it's because I could be wrong here. I think in the, and the, was it the 60s or 70s? I can't, I'm probably wrong. When they start moving people into the flats from, from council houses, people start singing that because the wind started, because it's, because they live in Iowa now. So the wind started blowing and they have no garden. Something like that. But I think I know what it means. That song. I think I do. I'm probably not explain it properly. I'm probably not explaining it properly. But I think I have an idea what it means. Again, you can explain it again better. But I think I do. I do. I do. I do like it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Victor. Jack. Morning. Look at the state of you. Oh, bloody dying. I'm getting too old for the bevin. I'm getting too old for the driving. Oh, wait a minute. Is that because of last night? I've, I've come down to say I'm sorry now. Jack, don't you worry. Forget last night. I've got to get rid of this motor. Oh, yeah. we're having a smashing time. I know, but look. The tax disc is up, right? That's 75 beans. Insurance is 300. I guess that's nearly what you paid for it. Aye, and it's 32 quid a tank of juice. All that before I've bought a pint of milk. Nah, it's humped right enough. You want a horn here? No, you... Aye. Onions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Isa? I am fine, Navy Tow. It's just you look rough like the badger's ass. <laughs> Nine of tiles last night, Navy. I feel a bit worse than ever, if I'm honest. Oh. Why don't I do you a nice big breakfast, eh? Big wobbly egg, nice and runny, greasy mushrooms, and a slice of half cooked lawn with fried toast and beans. Then I mash it all up together for you, and you drink it like a milkshake, huh? Eh? Oh, stop it, Navy. Hey, if you're gonna hook it up, dear dude side. Pint of milk, please, Navid. Oh, paracetamol and all. Oh, were you out on the piss and all, huh? The two of you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was some night. Eric threw up in Victor's new car. Oh, the Skoda? Ah, that's too much of a fanny magnet. <laughs> paracetamol, Navid. Oh, you've got some. Oh, sorry. <laughs> takes everything for free. The geese just bought a product. He came in there to buy the product one himself. But seeing someone else already buying one, he decides to take two of it. But they love him because it's, it's Tam. Tam is our friend. He's our selfish friend. <laughs> <laughs>
105 pounds, my final offer. What do you think this is? Christmas? Piss off, Tom. Ah, you bastard. Less than a week ago, you were offering 395 and a Calibri lighter for it. Uh, that was before there was a dent in the bumper after you ran our smelly scooter. Which was partly your fault, you arsehole. Right, Victor, what do you need for the car? What do we need for it, Jack? Never mind we. You put £100 in. Aye, and I've had £100 of fun out it. Get your 300 quid back, you see. 300 Not a halfpenny less! Right, Tam, you heard the man. 300 quid. Yeah. I've got him out of barrel here. I'm the only bidder. I'll say 150. Get hell, you miserable bastard. You listen to me. This is your chance to do the right thing. Be generous. The car's worth 300. You've got that in your pocket. Now give it to his money. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> Three hundred. Thanking you. I'm just paid for it. <laughs> they finally got him back. All them years of him being taken, of him taking liberty off of. Oh my god. Three hundred pounds. What would you do? To be fair, that was a gentleman's agreement because he he gave him the keys and he gave him the money. So you can't argue about that. The deal is done. You have to take it. Time just pissed. Time is pissed. It's absolutely, I'll be pissed. See the car Tom's got, Bobby. Ah, it's an absolute cracker, eh? Three hundred pounds was all I paid for it too. Eh? Two previous owners, thirty thousand miles on the clock, and a full service history. Eh? Oh, aye, and a free fridge freezer with it. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> brassic. Time to go and buy me a pint. No, <laughs> no. You get what you deserve, you tight-arsed old tit. <laughs> Here, Tom. Why don't you try this? You ask Bobby for a pint. He gives you the pint. You go into your pocket and give him money. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a mad cat wacky notion, Victor. Do you think that would work, Tom? Pint of lager, please, Bobby. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Terrible weather we've been having. Oh, certainly is. Still, they say it should clear up for the weekend. Mm. Do they? Yes, they do. One pound eighty, please. <clears throat> there you are. Thanking you. You going on any holidays this year, Barney? No. I'll no get a chance to get away. Ah. Uh, I was in Spain last year, at my sister's. That's him done away with the peseta. Aye. It's the Euro now, isn't it? That's right, yeah. yeah. I've never even seen one. Oh, have you known no. No. Nah. Well, we should look in your till. I just gave you two. <laughs> <laughs> you give him... You give him fake money. <laughs> well, not fake money, but no pounds. Oh, God. <laughs> absolute legend. Absolute legend. He's... My favourite character probably would be... Uh, I don't know. Obviously, Jack... Apart from Jack and Victor, my favourite probably Winston. Because Winston is that guy. He just... He goes through a lot. Just saying his life is something else. I like Winston. I like Winston. Then maybe Tam and Isaac. Navid is funny as well. Navid is funny. Eric, Eric is that character that you, you just know when he talks. He's, he's either, he's either going to say something really smart or he's going to say something really crazy. But when he puts his hand into his leg and just 
And when he pissed himself as well. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this show. You guys know how much I love this show. Please, please, please. I think we'll, I'll start posting it more on Mondays. I think that's when I majorly post it. So yeah, look forward to seeing Steel Game on Mondays. And I'm also reacting to Gimme Gimme now. So that's probably going to come out on a Wednesday or on a Thursday. I'm not too sure yet. But yeah, you guys are the best. Just keep commenting. Send me emails, edichi at gmail.com, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's in the description. Anything you guys want to react to, any questions, anything about the channel, please, please, please don't be shy. Reach out to me and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.